Okay, welcome everyone. My name is Joss Colchester. I'm with the SI platform team and the London uh, Hub team. Today I'm going to give an overview to the Systems Innovation Canvas that you'll find on our website, uh, the SI Canvas. This is a template. Uh, it's designed as a condensed version of the overall SI method, our overall SI method for systems change. Uh, what does that look like? It's four uh, main dimensions to this. Uh, we start with uh, system thinking, thinking about um, the issue from a systems perspective. Uh, then there's uh, mapping, mapping out the fa factors affecting that. Uh, change, um, where we talk about finding leverage points uh, and enabling uh, the change in those factors that are affecting the dynamic in the system to try and uh, shift it. And then uh, ultimately systems building and, and systems design. And that's what this uh, canvas uh, represents. Um, those four main dimensions, they're compressed, compressed into uh, four concentric circles. Uh, the first one, we put the challenge. This uh, slide is gonna give you an overview to the overall canvas. So in the center, we put the challenge uh, and we start to try and shift our thinking to a systems uh, perspective. It uh, will go into each one of these um, circles now in a minute. We then try and map out the factors uh, that are affecting uh, that system and its dynamics, the factors and actors. And then we think about the leverage points where we, where we intervene to grow uh, new outcomes uh, to change those factors and ultimately what can we design to realize um, those changes? And um, this might be uh, new products or services, it might be new startups, um, and how may we connect them to some uh, overall ecosystem or platform? So that's the full canvas. Um, you may want to choose some aspects of it. Sometimes if we have a shorter uh, period of time, just 90 minutes, we just choose the uh, middle two. We do a mapping and then leverage points. Um, if you have more time, you might want to do um, all of them. We'll look at all four now. Uh, as mentioned, it starts with uh, defining the challenge and really getting clear about uh, what that is and uh, taking time to think about it from different perspectives and trying to think about it um, from the system's perspective, get that kind of holistic view of it. Um, so we put that challenge in the center, whatever it may be, uh, we can take here the water crisis. We're trying to elevate our vision and understanding from a set of parts and problems to that of systems and seeing uh, structure and um, how that problem emerges uh, from the system structure. So we have a canvas here, um, the ecosystem thinking canvas that's designed to shift members uh, thinking from an ego system perspective to an ecosystem perspective. So that's the first um, dimension to it, the first circle where we're trying to think about the actual um, challenge and define that properly. The second circle is the mapping. Now define what are the main factors affecting the issue uh, we've defined. Uh, post up a stickies of all relevant factors and elements. So let's take a look at that. We think about the water crisis. This is the second circle. We have a template um, to help participants think about the different dimensions, social, economic, technological, environmental, kind of break that down a bit more. And you lay this out on a mirror board or print it out on a table and um, have them post up their stickies of the factors and the actors they think are affecting uh, that dynamic. Um, you can, of course, adjust that template. We have uh, other ones. If you're dealing with an issue that's more say social, then you might want to add psychological factors. If it's more uh, environmental um, or physical, you might want to uh, introduce more environmental factors or, or both of them. So you can adjust the template as needed. So the third sec section is um, thinking about influence points, places to change and uh, shift, shift the dynamic. So, we have the first circle there, and then uh, we draw out lines and we post up stickies um, parallel to or um, on the outside of um, the existing stickies that we have. So something around logistics, then we draw a line out and we uh, put up a sticky where we think we might be able to influence or change that dynamic. Um, and we can do that for all the different dimensions like this and uh, fill out the circle as you see here. And that's the, sec that's the third section. 
uh, where we've thought about the places to intervene and the um, things that we want to change uh, in that system. So the fourth section is thinking about the innovations in the systems design. Uh, what might we design to uh, realize uh, those changes, uh, whether that's products, services, might be new startups, whatever it is. So yeah, we're on the fourth circle here. We've defined the issue in the center there. We've mapped out the factors affecting it. We've thought about leverage points, the things you might want to uh, change or where we might want to intervene. And then of course, um, we're thinking about how can we design and develop, um, what can we design and develop to realize uh, these new potentials? And uh, not just thinking about them individually, we can also think about how to um, connect them and integrate them into an ecosystem if these were different startups um, that we were developing to tackle those uh, specific uh, issues there and try and change them. And then we might think about this from an ecosystem perspective. How do we connect those startups uh, with these products or services that might be a platform that's connecting across them? Okay, so that's the full uh, four dimensions to the canvas. Um, again, it's kind of a, a sprint, um, a condensed version of the overall uh, process. And you might try and do uh, some of these. Sometimes we do it as short as 90 minutes. It might be four different sessions, each one an hour or so, um, what, whatever works. And you can choose uh, just to focus on, you know, the mapping and leverage points, or you can expand it to all of them and you can adjust the canvas and so forth. And you can find the canvas on our website and download it, load it there and use it as you see fit.